If I had to just straight up spitball the top three most popular archetypes that Novas have ever had, I think I'd just straight up go for like Victor, Beasties, and I think Blaus, honestly, and today we're gonna be taking a look at exactly that one. So I think, you know, Novas over the years have definitely had a lot of different archetypes released and a lot of different ones that, you know, were very popular or not so popular. I feel like Ashura has like its own kind of quiet following as well, and, you know, other archetypes exist on top of that, like Gold Rutil and stuff like that. But Blaus was always the one that people were like, oh, this is like as close to Gundam as it gets, you know, this really looks like Gundam and stuff like that. And every time they released a new one, everyone was always super hyped. And with the release of Galaxy Blaukluger in the TTG, I think that was the moment that a lot of people looked at them and they were like, wow, they look so beautiful. This is amazing. This is great. This is exactly what we needed in this game. All right, so let's take a look at Blaus. So this is a very popular archetype. There are quite a few different builds and ways and paths that you can take it. We're right on the brink of Legend 10, so let's get that in today's video right before the rank reset too. Very cool. All right, so here's my bot list. Of course, there are different variations and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comments screaming and crying about certain card choices. Oh my God, you, you hurt me and my family by picking this and that, but it's all right. It's just a card game. Anyway, Let's take a look at this. So, of course, the sort of bread and butter for the deck is, first things first, the actual starter, Morgenrot. So Morgenrot is really amazing. His skill says he is a forerunner, and then he has a rearguard circle skill. When the when it boosted a Blau Vanguard and the attack hits an opponent's Vanguard, you can count almost one, look at the top three cards of your deck, and add a Blau from among them into your hand. So this skill is beautiful. It doesn't go into the soul or anything, so you can use this every single turn as long as it boosts a Blau Vanguard, so, and as long as you have one Counter Blast to use, actually. And so, it's a really good card in terms of searchable Blaus, the PG, the PG is a Blau, on top of that. We have the Mars Blau Kluger as a 4 of. Uh, I'll go into the skills a bit later. 3 of the 10k Vanilla that is a Blau, and then the actual Blau Kluger himself 4 times too. I'll explain why 4 times a bit later. Then of course for grade 3s, almost every grade 3, we got the Break Ride, Mond Blau Kluger, as well as Galaxy Blau Kluger, the, basically your main grade 3. Stan Blau Kluger is still here as a 1 of, so quite a lot of targets that you can find. You can find your Break Ride, find your grade 2 ride. If you had to ride the PG for example, you can find your actual, you know, Galaxy that you Break Ride into. It's a fantastic starter, but of course using one combo every turn is going to get pretty expensive, so we are running 4 played all mechanic in the main deck as well then the other grade ones are running two of the energy charger not necessarily to use two but just to make sure that we hit at least one of them per game uh the 5k boost is you know whatever but being able to draw an extra card in Novas is always going to be great, and this deck definitely has soul that it can just throw out without a problem. And sometimes there are games where you can keep like break riding over break ride before you want to commit to the galaxy, so you kind of amass soul in that form as well. Other people they don't run this card, and also the final grade one that I have is Dancing Wolf. Dancing Wolf has been actually pretty popular in Japanese deck lists, uh, from what I've seen from other zero content creators in the Japanese server. I know that some people are playing the Leprechaun, which is a really interesting card that I kind of want to try myself, because it's technically, I think, better than Dancing Wolf, but I haven't had any time to playtest with him instead, so I think that, you know, I'm going to deliver this decklist as it is here, because I think this deck is still really, really good, but with the Leprechaun, what it does is when it, I think it's a 6k, and when it boosts a Blau, you can Soul Blast 1 to give him 10k. The reason why that's relevant, and by the way, Dancing Wolf, if you don't know, says when he stood in your battle phase, uh, he gives gets plus 3k every single time, so he goes like, you know, 10k booster, first 7, then 10, then 13. So, the nice thing though with the Leprechaun is that it's always going to be a 10k booster, which means that when your Mars block Luger stands, whose skill is when your Vanguard's Blau attack hits the opponent's Vanguard, count must 1, stand this unit, and if you stood, give him plus 3k. So, he becomes a 12k, and because of that, when the Leprechaun boosts him, that becomes 22. But of course, with Dancing Wolf, this also becomes 22, because uh, Dancing Wolf, when it stands, becomes a 10k. On top of that, Dancing Wolf pairs up well with a 12k attacker, which is the Grosse Bea, Bawa, and so this is not a Blau, which is very important, this is why I'm running not only two copies of it. It's a 12k attacker that is not a Blau, but it still makes a 22k column with the Dancing Wolf, and so for that reason, I like to kind of run those cards together, because we are able to restand our board and kind of push our opponent from 3 to 6 with this deck, because we can make these 21k, 22k columns. On top of that, of course, Blau 10k Vanilla, purely because, I mean, it is a Blau name that we can search out, it's a grade 2 and a 10k Vanilla, so overall it's good. And then why am I running 4 of the regular Blau Kluger? Well, the reason is actually, is that you want to ride him, not so much that you're riding the, running the Raichin or anything, but purely because when he hits, we're boosted by the starter. The starter procs first, Counter Blast 1, check top 3, add a Blau, and then he refunds that Counter Blast immediately. So then, for example, let's say you have a board like the Blau Kluger, the starter, 
and then a Mars Ball Kluger and a 7k behind him. What you can do is, you can swing with a 9k into a rear guard. So with a Mars Ball Kluger into a rear guard, then you swing with the regular Blau Kluger boosted by the starter into the Vanguard, it hits, you can almost one check top 3, add one to hand, then counter charge, and then use that same counter blast to re-stand the Mars Blau Kluger, who is now standing with 12, and he's boosted by a 7, and your opponent's Vanguard is probably going to be on like 9k, so you get another swing in there, and you, you also search the card, all for one counter blast. And so, for that reason alone, I like it, and there are some games where you might just like, choose to stay at grade 2 while you're sitting on the Blau Kluger, because for example, let's say your only grade 3 in hand is like, I don't know, one of these, or, or sorry, you can't see it, but like, like a Yamato no Drake, or a Stern Blau Kluger, or like, just Galaxy Blau Kluger, but you have like, everything else to have like a perfect break right turn, and your matchup isn't necessarily one where you would die next turn or anything, so you can choose to stay on grade 2 for another turn, just to get another shot of using this skill to actually get into the uh, break ride and then break ride over him the following turn if you're playing in something that, you know, is a bit slower, takes its time to set up and stuff like that. So I've been hyping up this break ride this entire time, so what does it do? Mon Block Hugger says when you break ride over him for that turn, your Vanguard gets plus 10k and the following ability, Vanguard Circle, when it attacks, Kalmas 1, stand all of your rear guards. So Kalmas 1 to restand your board is really good because on top of that, Galaxy Block Hugger is a restanding Vanguard, meaning that you can use this skill twice in one turn. Of course, that is very Kalmas heavy, but at the same time it's cool because you have cards like the Dancing Wolf that scale with every time they stand, and so you can make 21k, 22k columns pretty easily. On top of that, Yamato no Drake gets 4k every time it stands in the battle phase too, so that's a 14k attacker boosted by any 7k such as the Claydol makes 21k as well. So of course that is also really, really nice. And of course the Galaxy Blau Kluger. So his skill is Limbrick 4 once per turn when he attacks for that turn gain 5k and the following ability. Once per turn, when your Blau's attack hits the opponent's Vanguard, so it can be a Blau Vanguard, Blau Rear guard, but he has to attack first for that trick to, for that skill to actually be active. Once your blouse attack hits the opponent's vanguard, you can count almost two in discard two. And if you do, you stand all the units in your middle column and draw two cards. So he makes up for the discard two. So of course this is cool because you can swing, use the breakaway skill to restand your board, and then hit use his skill to Kalmas 2, discard 2, re-stand, then swing with your rear guards, and then swing again with the vanguard, use the break right skill again, to then once again re-stand your board and swing two more times with attacks of 21k+. plus. So that is also really, really nice in my opinion, and I like that a lot, that this deck has super explosive attack power on the break right turn, and I'm definitely, you definitely need to main for Claydon mechanics for that reason. I've seen people like maining the, the grade 3 counter charger as well, the grade 2 counter chargers, so there's a lot of paths you can take this build, and I found this build to be pretty good, but definitely feel free to experiment with it. You know, my, my lists are not absolute, my lists are my like a result of my own testing. I've been playing this deck quite a fair bit in ranked as well. My main decks that I've been playing, honestly, have been like DP, Blouse, and Aquaforce. So definitely, I feel like this list is pretty good, but it can definitely be improved on. And I wouldn't be surprised if when the Winter Championships come, we're going to be seeing Blau decks that are completely different, but still really, really strong. So just keep an eye out for other lists and feel free to experiment yourselves. You know, this these videos should give you a baseline of how you can start to experiment with a decks but then the whole point of like why i advocate for net decking you know i'm a net decker myself you know i, I see something that i want to play i'll look at somebody else's build i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna play with it and then i will adjust for my own playstyle. i will take out the cards that they play that i don't really vibe with that are not really adjusted to my playstyle, and rather put in cards that i think are better for my own playstyle and adapt it like that. So I think for that purpose, net decking is perfectly fine and that's exactly what I do and I invite you guys to do similar things, you know, this has been a short PSA. But anyway, a thing that covers the entire deck list, nine draws because of course, you know, pretty self-explanatory. We need to discard with the Galaxy Block Clicker and it is a Peace Reliant deck so the draws are very important. Why am I talking so fast? Because I have to stream in 20 minutes. Very nice. All right, let's get into it and get some games in with this deck. Sadly, I don't have the high school Kamui skin still. Uh, you know, they don't, technically have a manga or whatever. I can't remember what kind of Kami they marketed Blouse with, because Blouse actually, you know, these Blouse never updated, never got like released in the anime or anything, so it's like kind of game original designs, but it's a popular archetype, so you can't blame it. Anyway, our matchup is Dark Irregulars, okay. We've been, you know, I've been playing ranked more than usual this season, you know, for obvious reasons, and it really feels like there's a lot more different matchups that you run into as well, so it's quite nice. Alright, this hand's pretty good, we can actually like put this back and ride the 10k vanilla, even if we don't have the grade 2 blau, uh, to sit on the 10k vanilla to search, so pretty good, pretty good hand. I'll keep the PG against this matchup, you never know when they just randomly pop off with Ragey and just like hit you with 3 damage, so I want to be a little bit careful there, so, you know, it doesn't hurt to be a little bit on the safe side at least, so. 
just going to glade all mechanic. I'll keep the two PGs, like I said. If this is Ragey, people really consider Ragey a top tier deck in JP, so I want to be careful um, because, you know, if this is a good, good Ragey player, he will absolutely destroy me, and I want to be careful. <laughs> Gotta be careful. So, uh, Grade 2 Blau will be my right of choice here, purely because, I mean, of what I said earlier, you get to both search for a card and counter charge at the same time, so it's a pretty good, you know, match made in heaven. All right, and ooh, if I had a grade one, this would be a really nice little combo I could do. 12k attacker is pretty good as well, though. So this is going to be the, one of the situations where my two of 12k attacker can actually do some work. So, all right, first I want to attack with Vanguard to make sure that we actually get the search unless we heal, which we don't. So that's fine. And now no trigger. Good. So that means we can use a starter. Kamos one and check top three for the break ride. Perfect. So we've set up our first grade three, right? So you can see, like, I had no grade threes in my hand. Just casually find it. It's fine, you know? That's all it really, all you gotta do. So we push first two damage into him, and that's all it really takes. So now, on his ride, I guess, he has a few cards he can use at UCB. Maybe, like, the one of Gwyn the Ripper or something, but I kind of doubt it. All right, he soul charged the heal, so one of them went back, and that is fine. There we go, he's gonna use this one to soul charge two and get 5k on that dude as well. And the demon bike as well. All right, this this is looking like ragey to me. Putting down the demon bike on turn two probably means gonna ragey, put them all in the deck, from the deck into the soul, and we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see some see some uh, damage. That's that's what we're gonna see. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's see where this is gonna go. So, and most importantly, y'all have to see the visual effect when you break right into this thing. It is beautiful. I cannot stress it enough. All right. So. Thank you, Kamui. So no animation, but he does get a line, which is pretty appreciated. All right, so if, since this is Rage, it's not Limit Break, do I want to push him? Do we just push him a little bit? I think we do push him a little bit. But I don't want to call too many cards, because then I'm plusing one here from the search, but... The thing is, I could also call this early and just like have a restanding column with 19. That might be worth it actually. That might be worth it. I can actually do some pretty stonks swings here. Um, might get punished, might not. It's the gambles in life, you know? Sometimes you just gotta take these gambles. We swing with a 9. PG, that's good news to me. And then here, even without a trigger, this will be a 19k column. We get the whiffed heal, which is fine, to be honest. I don't actually mind that too much, because here, even if he triggers, this line will still hit, because it'll be 24. So, first let me use the starter to come us one check top three, hopefully for a galaxy block luger here. We get a PG, that's fine too. Against Ragey, that's going to be very necessary. And I'm going to push him in for the fifth damage here as well, with the Mars block luger with the 24. So, you know, magic numbers doing their work as they do. So now that, you know, he might heal this turn, how many heals has he shown me so far? I think he soul charged one, but then it went back, so technically he still has four, right? All right, let's go. Ragey coming through as expected. Ten soul, and here comes another three. Oh, two. Okay. All right. All right, now he's on 14, which means he just has to attack, and he has the extra crit, pushing me to five. And, you know, is he ready for that, though? Is he ready for my potential unleashed form? Galaxy Blaukluger? Just, just going through him? All right, let's find out. Draw into Galaxy? No. All right, one more time. Come on. Draw? No. Draw? That's the Galaxy into Galaxy. Subarashi. As Dr. O would say as he reveals a massive lolly. Subarashi. <laughs> I can't believe I just said massive lolly. <laughs> God damn. My bad. He, he, he felt that at his core. He was like, all right, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> all right, Legend 10 reached. Very cool. Thank you, Vanguard Zero. Thank you, Dr. Regulars. Thank you, Blau Klugers. Did you know? <laughs> Welcome to Did You Know Gaming. Did you know? Blau's are actually piloted by female pilots. That is according to the actual official Vanguard lore. <laughs> Did you know? Alright, five win streak in which the four other games were with Aquaforce. I don't know why, like, I don't really face Aquaforce that much, or, like, especially not Tetra Drive, but the deck is really, really good. Like, most of my wins lately have just been with Aquaforce. If the deck does so many unfair things, it feels like. I think a lot of people kind of underestimated how good it is, and I'm just, like, I'm loving it so much. I'm enjoying it a lot. But speak of the devil, there we go, Aquaforce. All right, win or lose, I hope we can see good Tetra Drive player here. Because that will definitely, you know, give you guys a preview to the next second fight. No spoilies, but, you know, I'm just saying. Alright, really good hand. Would you look at that? We got the grade 1 ride, got the grade 2 blow for the counter charge instantly, the break ride, we just need the galaxy blow, and we got the perfect curve, and we're good. Alright, energy charge on top of that, I will take that. 
The Claydol doesn't really do much until you get to the Break Ride turn, for the most part. Because, like, especially if you manage to ride this, you're countercharging, like, instantly, so... You're kind of cool with it, it doesn't really, you know, you don't really need to use it early, so I usually just ride it. I'd rather keep the Energy Charger in hand to be able to actually get the extra draw later on, for sure. You know, 100%. The Hyakpa. The Hyakpa draw. Alright, so, 12k swing. Is he gonna swing? Or my, will my dogs keep barking <laughs> as we speak? Alright, so we take the first damage, let's see. The draw, let's go! And into the galaxy? Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Alright, here we go. So... I'm gonna ride this up. I think I'm not gonna call down anything else. I'm just gonna swing here. Don't wanna give him two damage. Uh, you know, just for the sake of... Although, what else could he really go into? Like, Wheel Assault at that stage doesn't really do much. I can't really think of much else. Oh, we actually whiff. That is rare. You know, we do play a good number of, like, non-Blau cards. But, you know, for the most part, it's like... We have four Grade Threes. Two Grade Twos. I guess mostly grade 1s, right? It's mostly the grade 1s that make it whiff, and that was a triple grade 1 check, so... Some people I've seen run, like, the grade 1 Blau in their list, which I... Like, the actual part of the right chain, and I don't really agree with that. The other grade 1 I've seen quite a lot that I do think is, you know, makes sense of the 10k attacker. Kind of helps you get that aggression out even if you don't draw into your grade 2s, whereas my grade 1s are very much like... They're like a piece, you know, they're, they're part of the, the puzzle, I guess. They're pieces of the puzzle in my deck, so, you know, that is also another thing. Alright, so, let's see. Ooh, title? This is an interesting board. Oh, I know what he's trying to do. Oh, nasty. That is so nasty. I see what he's trying to do. This is big brain. He is swinging three times before he swings with the Valeria. Because when the Valeria attack, when the Valeria's attack hits and it's a fourth battle, he gets to retire one. So he gets to kill my starter. This guy, this guy knows. He knows about the busted starter and he is not happy. Good thing I drew into everything already anyway. <laughs> Alright. Another PG. That is very appreciated. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Gundam. Strike. Strike freedom. Uh, so... I think I can keep the front, the middle column safe here because I think... Hmm, how am I going to play this out? Let me see what I draw first. Let me put this on the side. Middle column is like whatever because you're going to break right anyway and like he gets the galaxy, gets power in, on its own so it's pretty fine. 12k attacker is pretty good actually. I'm going to... I don't want to go to him but to win next turn I need to push him up to 3 damage. Losing the starter kind of hurts here actually because now I don't get the... Don't get the extra damage that I could be pushing. Um, or, I mean, I don't get the extra card that I could have. Because I will need, be, need to be discarding cards next turn for the Galaxy Blau skill. But it's kind of okay. If we can push him to 3 here, I'm pretty content. So we hit the trigger there so we can get over this defensive. It's a Maelstrom, so that's vital information. But a lot of people play Maelstrom as a 1 of, and then, of course, Transcore as a break ride. But Transcore and a heal tells me it's maybe not the focus of this deck. So let's find out. But, you know, Tidal Assault... Not Tidal Assault, Tetra Drive. I don't know why I always confuse them. Maybe it's because they're, you know, they both start with a T. But Tetra Drive definitely feels like a really good card. Especially once you've managed to push your opponent to like 4 or 5. Especially 5, like, just having that extra pressure on top of everything is really, really good. So, Algos, haven't seen you in a while. And regular Maelstrom. Looks like a regular Maelstrom deck, to be honest. Alright, the Bubble Edge Draco Kid on the Algos. So he's looking to draw extra cards here. Wheel Assault to do the swapping. Another Algos. And another... Ooh, interesting. I should be fine here because I have two PGs and two intercepts, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine. The way he has to order... The sequencing on these attacks is really awkward, actually. Because... He has to... What? Swing Vanguard first. Huh? Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. He swing... Yeah, he has to swing with Vanguard here. Then Wheel Assault will proc. And he will swap these... The... The locations of these two cards... And then he will be able to swing with the Algos into my rear guard. And then this Algos will swing into Vanguard. And he will draw one from the Bubble Edge and draw one from the Algos. So he gets to forehand after this without the limit break, which is actually quite good, honestly. Um, he doesn't get to retire this, luckily, for me. So that's pretty good, too. But pushes me to four damage, which is great. So we can unleash hell. Although my hand isn't too hot right now. It could definitely be a little bit better. So anyway, let's get into it. Galaxy Braukryugar! Alright, so... This will be 14, if it restands twice, it'll become 1823, that's a magic number. 
I have to be mindful of what I'm going to discard. And it might be PGs, which isn't too hot. I could, what I could do is call this here, so it scales into a 23. Then call the 10k down here with a PG itself. I'm kind of risking my life here to win, but I mean, am I even a mecha pilot if I'm not? You know? You know? Alright, so I think I'm going to do the Giga Chat move. Is it worth it? Because thing is, this restands otherwise without a booster, which kind of sucks. But how many draws do I have left? Three, four, four, four. So I guess there's hope. If I can check one draw, that's fine. That's all I really need here. Alright. Alright, here we go. My opponent is potentially disconnecting or not. <laughs> Never mind. It might just be my blue stacks being weird, but whatever. So we swing here. Most important is restanding this dude. Alright, check at least one draw. At least one draw. Come on. Alright, first I think we get the timing to use the break right skill. Why is it like lagging. Alright, 26, cool. Use the break right skill first to restand the front row. Alright. If he checks no defenses, we get some stonks. Oh, the troll! So good, so good, so good, man. So good. Alright, perfect. So we can actually discard the other two cards. No defensive. Yes! Kanpeki! Alright, here we go. So we get to discard two now for the Galaxy Blouse skill to restand the middle column and draw two cards. Look at that. The beautiful, the Galaxy. The Samsung Galaxy, baby. So now we can swing with this column. He'll restand with an 18, so he won't swing any hit anymore. This will be a 21, but still restanding. Oh no, wait, sorry. The booster restands too because of the break rides effect, so that works too. All right, this doesn't hit. Uh, we can leave this one because even if it stands, it doesn't gain power. So we can just swing with a 26. This will be 23, so we're still kind of praying for hit triggers, I guess. Anyway, let's just go in. We get the heal. We get the heal. This is 23. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can give it here. Give me 28 now. All right, so that's one PG, please. Cool. And I think he checked one or two. One. All right, second one. Okay, he had it. He had it. All right, good thing I still have the one PG. We might be able to survive with that in mind. So the defensive definitely helped him. He has three cards in hand. That's usually enough to get enough gas. Willow Salt is the MVP of Aqua Force. So that's definitely going to be a bit of a oof in the yanks. And there's the glory. But I have a great three in hand, so I might be okay. Maybe. I don't... I'm not sure, actually. It's a good question to yours truly. If he gets the PG... Because he can do... Ah, uh, wait, huh? Okay, swinging with this first. Wait, we survive! Right? I think we're fine. I think we're alive. Yeah, because... I... Yeah, yeah, he messed up. He should have used Basil. If he used Basil, he could have swung with Basil into Vanguard, swap into this... Ah, uh, but I guess no, it wouldn't have helped because this only gets the extra power when he's on third battle, right? Okay, he heals. That's actually really bad. <laughs> That's bad. I need a Claydol. Please, Claydol, if you exist. I need you. I need the counter charge, bro. I need the counter charge. Uh-oh, Wheel Assault. Wheel Assault, what you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do, Wheel Assault? Come on. He could actually do a bit of a Stonks move, but he didn't choose to. It's not really Stonks, actually. It's a misplay, but, you know. You always wanna bait your opponent into it a little bit. Oh, we, I mean, we, we got cards. But this, this, this hand not looking too good, though. Alright, I think we just swing... Do we just swing at... Swing at rears and not give him the glory so I don't actually die? I think that would be intelligent. I think if I use 2% of my brain, we can achieve that. So I'm gonna choose to use 2% of my brain here. And we're gonna just swing at rears. He has one card in hand. So, and I have a 10k vanilla. So he has to kind of work hard to get to actually beating over my 10k vanilla. Wait, no! My brain is still small, even with all things considered, because he gets the... He gets the ultimate break... Because of the cross right thing. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> no! My brain was stonks for a moment. I was like, oh, I got this, guys! Look at me, I'm such a good player! <laughs> and then I, I messed it up. Ah, uh, I messed it all up. Defensive! Hope? In my local community? Yo, I don't care about local singles, I care about hope being applied directly to the gameplay. Alright. The, 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 the skill that renders my hope literally useless. But, you know, as long as there's heals in the deck, there's still... Even if the... Even there's only 0 point whatever chance left, it's as good as 100%. Here we go. Get to heal Toriga! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey! What did I 
tell you? What did I tell you, bro? Dykeiser releasing in this game has been a blessing. Suddenly, everything just... Everything just happens, you know? It just happens. It just be like that, you know? Alright, I gotta think carefully here. He can discard anything, right? Doesn't have to discard Blouse? No, he does not. How do I just, like, stonks destroy him? That's what I'm looking for. He has to hit Vanguard, right? Your Blau has to hit a Vanguard. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have to bet on a draw? I don't have draws. Scheiße, man. Scheiße, man. It's not good. Um, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Hold on. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Wait. There's still hope. There's still hope. In this world, there is still hope. As long as people believe, <laughs> there is hope. Never stop believing, children of the future. I'm telling you today, at this very moment, that hope never died. Hope was there all along. It's because you believed. You, the children of the future. You, the generation that will carry the torch into tomorrow. It is because of you that humanity can prosper. It is because of you that glory maelstrom will not defeat me. Not now. Not here. Not today. And we will deliver in you tomorrow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, uh, let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> what did I tell you? When you're piloting a robot, before you even read the manual of which buttons to press, you know, to actually pilot into space, the first thing you must have is a believing heart. As long as you've got a believing heart, that's all you need to achieve victory. Alright, so I think that will just about do it for today's video. A bit of a shorter one, I guess, compared to some of the other Deccan fights, but I think those are two, you know, pretty good games. Got to show you, you know, both the actual, the big break ride skill of being able to restand and swing a bunch of times, but also, I guess, you know, how you can turn cards like Mars Blaukluger into victory in a pinch. So, of course, you know, this card is still really good for giving you that essentially fourth attack even when you don't have the power to restand your vanguard so as long as you have one count bias, you can still do some nice things with it so yeah pretty good game honestly it was very entertaining very fun to play this deck is really enjoyable um some people have said like oh it's just an, like what's the difference between this and and ethics you know and stuff like that but the decks do feel quite different i think from watching it you'll probably have noticed you know in the little intricacies in how they function whether it's like the pieces that restand or the kind of like sequencing of attacks and stuff like that and especially I think it's a bit more fun than ethics, in my own personal opinion. Like back in the day, I wish I could have played this deck, but I did not have the funds because I had just built DP. And so it was a little bit hard to afford that kind of deck right after that, you know, as a high school student. But I'm really glad, you know, Zero lets me revisit these old decks and enjoy them right now in the present. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next one will be Aqua Force, the deck I've been kind of playing the most with lately. So hope you guys enjoy that too. And just like I said earlier, feel free to experiment with other card choices and stuff. You know, this is just a skeleton for you guys to get started with. But on that note, though, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.